So this is for a uh, 1999 protege. Uh, I bought this part for uh, $12.99. Uh, I believe the seller's name is H O T Z Z Z. Um, this is for the input turbine sensor. Uh, it's for a 1.6 DOHC uh, for automatic, for uh, for gear automatic. Um, let me uh, let me see if I can guide you through this uh, this video. Uh, I know the audio is probably a little too low, but uh, bear with me. I'm using a, a crappy microphone. Uh, I didn't know if this part was going to fit. I just uh, eyeballed uh, how <clears throat> it looked like. I didn't took it apart. My car was throwing a check engine, and uh, it would automatically switch through second gear. So uh, let's try putting this on. I'm going to try to uh, take it apart. Um, <clears throat> And I guess uh, let's kind of get started here. Yeah, put this away. So uh, I was just I was just going to try to take a peek here. Right here uh, again, it's a DOHC 16 valve, and it's right there in the bottom, right on the transmission on top of that transmission in between that uh, just right underneath that air box and right over here I was just trying to get a hold of it I was trying to take a peek where I'm going to access I didn't really want to take a lot of parts out so uh, I got uh, a 10 uh, a 10 millimeter uh, socket and um, just putting down my vape there 10 millimeter socket and I uh, have an extension there. By the way, all these are my portable tools. Um, and uh, I I don't know how long that extension was, but uh, it reaches pretty uh, pretty fine down there. So I don't have to cramp my uh, my hands in there with a with a what do you call it, that ratchet. And um, so it reaches really good. <clears throat> So I was trying to get a hold of it. So be careful with the uh, with the plastic tabs here, the plastic uh, connector, because this car is 200 200,000 miles. It's pretty old. So I was just trying to reach there, see if I can uh, pull it out. But it's so old. Um, it's original. Nobody has uh, replaced that. So I was just trying to trying to wiggle it out, but it was so stiff. And prior to this, I've been spraying WD-40 around that area. Um, Every time I would drive about you know 10 miles in, the the car would uh, would jump to second gear and uh, would throw me a check engine light. So I've had enough. So uh, and the part was only uh, 12.99, and um, I mean either you know either it it's already broken anyway, so might as well just try it out. So here I was just looking for uh, I found a screwdriver, a small one. Um, I couldn't find my pick. If you have an L pick those little picks um, it would be better so you can just um, put the L, L um, pick on the tab and then push it with the screwdriver but um, I didn't really want to take apart like you know all that other stuff I was just being lazy I just wanted to get this done only took me about 20 minutes so um, I'm still looking for uh, for my pick but I couldn't find it so I just found a little screwdriver I uh, I actually broke the, some parts of the tab, um, which thankfully it didn't um, it didn't broke off the uh, the locking mechanism. I was trying to be soft about you know I was just trying to go slow on it. So here I was gonna try to reach for it <clears throat> with a screwdriver. I was gonna pry it and then kind of because it's it's stiff, it's crusty already. Again, it's old. So be very very gentle, very careful. Um, trying to take this off and break that tab off, and that's it. You're gonna have to either rewire it or whatever. So uh, I just kept on trying and trying here. Uh, try to go as slow as you can. Uh, spray WD-40 on it. Uh, let it soak up in there a little bit. But uh, I wasn't that successful with this one. Uh, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. I heard a little crack while I was kind of shaking it. So I, I I stopped and I said, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try to clear this out here. Uh, it's 
you can see uh, still trying to wiggle it in there <clears throat> I mean if you have time to take off that air box and uh, take off that um, the, the air pipe that's that's great go ahead do it you know so you have room to work with um, I've, I'm still trying to peek here you know wh which way to go because there's like little hoses there and some wires that are blocking my way but again I didn't want to take off some parts and just, if I could reach it why not so I'm still trying to uh, pick it with a screwdriver um, it's it's really stuck in there so so bear with me I'm just trying to pick still unsuccessful I was just trying to push it trying to twist it away um, every time I would uh, I would work on my car or anybody else's car um, I would spray on the area I would spray WD-40 on it let it soak up for like a day or two um, <clears throat> this one I've been soaking for a week so it wasn't that bad but I had I had a lot of uh, cars that like these things would just break off it's so crusty um, as you can see a lot of my other tabs there have already broken off because they're they're old like that one right there just trying to push it out of the way um, usually I just use some zip ties and you know those zip ties last for a couple of years and you know redo another zip tie on it but I'm still trying to get it off and this is like this is the hardest part is this very delicate about this you know because I, I don't want to break that that thing off and then I have to rewire it so and there's only so much that you could um, you could rewire it, you know snip it and then you have to you know imagine soldering on that angle oh goodness I wouldn't want to do it you know it's it's about only three inches or four inches of, of wire exposed and then you have the uh, you have the connector so if you break that off you know you have to snip it off and then you have to solder and then you know get a new connector so you're gonna add another day or two if you can find that that connector so I'm still here trying to look for the darn pick which I left it in the in the shop in the storage and you know this is my portable stuff I just put all my stuff in here if I have to do something at home or whatever um, so uh, yeah so I took I took some pliers and I was trying to grab I, well you know I, I didn't have space here so I figured you know what I'm gonna take off that uh, that intake that part of that intake box I said nah I've had it I'm just gonna take it's only two uh, two little nuts um, just trying to see if there's any angle so I, I got fed up I said nah I'm take off these two nuts here just pull it off see if I can get a little bit more space so yeah there's another small extension and the extensions that I use have a little locking mechanism at the tip so like when you're doing spark plugs or something like that um, I didn't want the socket to get stuck in there so so that's why I got these uh, I got it from Harbor Freight so all of my tools are from Harbor Freight by the way because uh, they're only uh, four blocks away from me so why not and plus you know they have lifetime warranty so they're really keeping up the game yeah. I mean I have a lot of tools I have, I have craftsmen I have everything else but you know, why not why not have these guys pretty well made well, can't beat a lifetime warranty so I'm just taking off these two nuts. And all you have to do is just lift it out and uh, make sure there's a little tab by that. Uh, there, just flop it open there. Just working on my sandals. 
It's chilly up in uh, California. Not bad. So here we are. Got my uh, got some flyers. I'm gonna try again with my hands just to make sure before I start doing this because if I break something off, then we're gonna be held back a little bit. So I was trying to pry it with the screwdriver. Um, I didn't have a longer screwdriver. I didn't want to use too much uh, torque. Just, just like I just wanted to have like my hands, not too much uh, strength, so I won't break off anything. So I just use a small screwdriver. Just trying to pry it and wiggle and pry. So, so here I kind of, kind of slightly lifted it and it cracked. So just be very careful again. If you have a pick use a pick so while you're picking on it you can just uh, pull it with the with the pliers so I'll just there you go so I kinda got it slightly pressure and uh, wiggle and pull and should slide off there you go yeah, sorry that uh, the camera is on my forehead, so I'm trying to look for an angle there. Just a little bit. I'm just trying to make sure that um, the tab is still in there because some of it broke off, and I didn't want to continue to put too much pressure. Um, to have the whole thing just crack open and again this is the big problem with uh, working with older cars um, you will have a lot of broken parts due to uh, it being crusty um, so I'm just trying to check here how that tab is positioned so I don't want to destroy anything anymore because it's really really stuck in there and um, I did clean this off already with the WD-40 and then uh, I use soap and water to make sure that the area is clean so nothing would drop in there uh, again make sure to clean that area because <clears throat> you don't want anything dropping inside your transmission um, I try to keep my engine as clean as possible uh, so there you go. I'm just gonna try to wiggle again, pry it up, and lift on that tab a little bit. Slowly, just wiggle it off, you know. And I think it did uh, let go already. There you go. So came off from the uh, from the sensor, and I'm just trying to clean off that area because a little some of the pieces kind of broke off right there that little tab but there's still a locking mechanism in there that's still intact um, I was trying to work on it slow so just be gentle and um, use my uh, extension in the 10 millimeter you can just go straight down from that that top section right there Sorry for that angle. Just keep on. Of course, remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. So, and uh, again, I I, I sprayed it a you know um, a lot of WD-40 on this prior, so it's been it's been uh, it's been on there for about a week. So I didn't have a hard time trying to get that bolt off, and uh, there's some, you know, the really crusty stuff. But again, I keep my engine clean all the time. So use my magnet and just trying to inspect the bolt, trying to see if uh, everything is intact. Uh, looks like there's no uh, threads across there. So just wiggle it left to right, so you don't want the sensor to break. Because again, this sensor is also old; it's original. Um, 200,000 miles so you don't want a, a portion of that sensor stuck there so I just kind of wiggled at it so I'm trying to inspect 
uh, looks very intact and uh, but electronically it's giving giving me a code so I'm just inspecting it trying to see if everything is uh, uh, the same as the one that we purchased from Amazon actually I got this from Amazon uh, again the part number is FN01215510 uh, it's an input turbine sensor for a 1.6 DOHC uh, automatic 1999 protege and uh, I'm just putting a little bit of um, what do you call this uh, if you have petroleum jelly or whatever it's a little bit won't hurt um, a lot of people get a little uh, butt hurt uh, putting these things or whatever I've been using it for years uh, you know, a lot of people say that, you know, using, what do you call this, uh, petroleum stuff on rubber will destroy uh, over time. Well, you know what? I have two cars. I have uh, over 200,000 miles. been working on a car since 98, uh, um, since high school. I never had any problems with these cars, man. So just kind of wiggle it in there. Don't force it in. Just drop it in the hole and slightly wiggle it inwards and uh, if there's resistance then kind of stop trying to I'm trying to take a look at it that if it's leveled um, as close as possible so and then I'm just trying to wipe down the, the bolt right there uh, remember always do it by hand first never use any tools especially on the aluminum stuff aluminum casings or whatever is aluminum I've stripped so much aluminum um, learning from that mistake so I always try to hand tighten as far as I can uh, just keep it going until uh, until you stop and um, anything that I have to do with an engine I never use uh, electronics or pneumatic tools I always do it by hand it's just the way it's supposed to be uh, so here we are just tightening it up and I know you're supposed to do you know to have torque specs and I do have the Haynes manual but throughout my experience I just as soon as it's you know it stops I mean not stops but as soon as it's tight enough and I just slightly turn it a little bit more like you know not even a quarter turn just snug it fit um, Again, this is not a moving part, so just make sure that it's snug in there. Uh, don't over tighten because that is on on the engine. Uh, I mean, the, the 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 housing of that transmission there. So I'm just trying to wiggle. I'm just trying to wiggle the part itself. Just trying to see if it's secured. Um, so we are secure, and I'm just clearing off some stuff here. Um, yeah, that one I need to uh, zip tie that. That's one of those crusty. Uh, there's a fastener there, but it broke off because it was it was crusty. It's crusted off and it just fell apart. Um, so I'm just inspecting the area. Make sure to check around or inspect the area before you. Um, no tools or extra stuff that got left behind. Put everything back in the bag. Just checking it out just to make sure that so I'll line that that piece right there for the intake just try to put that in first it has a little locking tab there too just align those to the holes and voila those two nuts um, yeah, these are also plastic. I mean, not plastic, but um, where the holder is set, it's plastic. Uh, there's a little rubber uh, grommet. So I'm just trying to take a look at it again. Just trying to make sure that nothing's left behind, everything looks intact. Um, I always do that like four times before I, uh, before I close, just to make sure. Give it a little wiggle, make sure it's not that, you know, it's not going to. Uh, vibrate too much when uh, the engines are going so I just hand tighten it a little bit and that's it well, it took about 20 minutes without that uh, if if yours is not that crusted crusted out or, or you know uh, 
plastic's not that bad. It should take only about a couple of seconds to pull that out. Um, just trying to start it up here, just trying to see if the engine check light's on. I didn't have to uh, reset the computer because, again, the, the code comes on and off, uh, goes in and out. So this time it was out, off. So just trying to make sure that, show you guys it's over 200,000 miles already. Uh, that took a while. <laughs> All right, so that should uh, that should cover everything. And uh, again, this is for 1999 Protege. Uh, I got this from seller FT 